Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Interior Auto Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you how to access your rear speakers in your 2007 through eh, probably 2012 Toyota Yaris. Uh, this is specifically for the two-door hatchbacks. So the four-door hatchback is going to be different. Uh, the speakers, I believe, are actually in the doors on those. But this is for the two-door hatchback only. Um, so anywho, I've got everything taken apart like I always do just to make these videos quick and easy. If you have not seen my video on how to remove your rear seat, I'm not saying you have to do it, but it will probably make your life a whole lot easier. Um, you'll run the chance of breaking some things if you don't take it out. If nothing else, I would recommend taking out the bottom cushion if you have the bench style seat like what I had before in my previous video. Um, if you have these slider seats, you might be able to get away with it uh, without removing them. But like I said, it's for no more work than what it really is to remove the rear seats. I would recommend doing it just to make sure you're not going to break anything. In this case, this is our Project Yaris. So for track purposes and everything, it's not going to be that big of a deal to remove these. And then if I ever want to put them back in, I can do that at a later time. I went ahead and took this one apart because we're going to be working on this quarter panel, seeing if we can get some of that dent out of the quarter. But anyway, we can go ahead and hop in and do this. It's really, really simple. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, which I'll just show you real quick. So, get you a Phillips screwdriver. It looks like a cross. If you have a clip remover tool, this will help you a lot. If not, Amazon, they're really cheap. You can get the whole kit of those for like like some little orange uh, removal tools as well for probably less than 10 bucks. Highly recommend getting those. And you'll need a 10 millimeter uh, socket and extension. You don't have to have the extension, but it does help. So, like I said, if you have not seen the video on how to remove the rear seats, I would recommend you do that first. However, if you choose not to, that's on you, obviously. So starting out, if you walk to the back of your Yaris, you should have a spare tire cover that looks something like this or like this. What you'll want to do, you'll turn this to where it says unlock, which that's locked. Do unlocked. Do it on both sides. This piece will lift up and you just pull it out. It will snap. It'll actually snap in. Uh, should snap into like a little groove and it'll actually just pop right out. So that comes out really easy. You'll have these underneath. You'll have one on the driver's side and one on the passenger's. Again, you turn your little knob to where it says unlocked and you do another one to unlocked. Here is the passenger side. Again, unlocked, unlocked. Give these a good yank and they'll pop right out. After that, this piece here will be sitting right on there. And you should have two plastic clips, one here and then one right over here. These will look like this if they are still in your car in the factory form. All you'll want to do is get your clip remover tool. and position it to where it gets in between this and the panel and pry out and the clip will come right out no problem if you do break those don't worry they're not all that expensive to replace probably a couple dollars if that at your local parts store lay that panel aside then at this point the interior of your car should kind of look like this you will have a 10 millimeter screw right there and a 10 millimeter screw right there. Look like this. Remove those, set them aside. At this point, um, the only other screw you'll have is there is a Phillips screw with where your cargo cover would actually be. So if your car, if your car does have a cargo cover, and if not, it doesn't matter. It'll still be in the same spot. But you'll have a Phillips screw right in that hole on both sides. So you just remove that. And after that, the only thing that's really holding this panel in 
aside from the seat belt kind of being in the way, but it's not holding the panel itself in. It's just clips on the back side. So what I found was easiest, get your fingers just in behind this panel here, and then you can just kind of pop it out. Now, it may separate in certain areas because this is like a three-piece panel. It's put together and like, this is a panel, this is a piece, and this is a piece. So they all snap together, it looks like, from what I can tell at least. So if that is, you know, if you see that they're separating or anything like that, don't freak out, they'll pop back together. But be really gentle and then just work your way, you know, your fingers up and around, and you should be able to pop it out back here. And then what I found was the easiest was to pull this uh, rubber stripping, that's the weather stripping away from the door pillar, and then just lift up on your little plastic piece that's here, like your door seal. You can pop that out, it'll, it'll pop right back in. And then you're able to get your fingers right in here and you can work your way and pop everything out. So that way you can easily access your rear speakers if you are wanting to upgrade them. In this case, if you do go to upgrade them, you will need to drill these little pop rivets out that hold them in. They don't have regular screws, but you can put regular screws back in. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. So like I said, this job will be a lot easier if you do remove your rear seat. Uh, I will put that video down in the description below if you want to watch it. It's not super long, and like I said, for no more work than it is it will really make it to where this is kind of like a headache free job for you so anyway here's a video of the panel out completely and i'll flip it over so you can see the back side and see where the clips are at too so you've got two right down here this is back by like the front door um like right when you open it so you've got two on the bottom, one in the middle, uh, one up near the top or the, by the speaker, another one near the top by the speaker, a couple in the middle in that gray panel section, and then you'll have one in the rear. And yeah, that's all it holds in. It looks like one was supposed to be here as well that it probably stayed in the car. So other than that, it is pretty simple. Okay, and one other thing I did notice on removing the driver's side panel, you do have a light on this side. So all that means is this little plug will be plugged right into the light. All you're gonna need to do is push in on this little tab right here and pull out. And after that, everything is loose. If this helped, please like the video and like, share, and subscribe. If you can subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it, it means a lot. We are building this Yaris, so if you'd like to follow along with us and see where it goes, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. And if you got any other questions or anything, please just put it down in the comment section down below. And good luck on your project.